Elon Musk talked about the intriguing world of artificial general intelligence that will possibly someday help us figure out if we are actually living in a computer simulation like in a movie. Stay tuned as we delve into its details. Artificial general intelligence, the idea of super smart AI, along with recent developments like video making AI and special AI chips, such as Grok, makes us wonder what technology will be like in the future and how it might change how we see the world. Let's explore what Musk thinks and how AI might work together to blur the line between the computer world and the real world. In a live conversation in a space, Elon Musk talked about the idea that we might all be living in a simulated reality. He asked questions that made people think deeply about very advanced artificial intelligence, such as AGI, and how it could change the basic rules of reality as we know it. His unique way of thinking about physics, computer simulations, and how we experience the world has grabbed the attention of many people. I think it's quite likely that we are living in a simulation. That seems to be the only explanation that fits all the evidence," said Elon Musk. Elon Musk and renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson talked about the idea that our world might be a computer simulation. This led them to discuss what it means to be alive and whether computers could ever be truly intelligent, like humans. They also considered the possibility of endless simulated worlds inside other simulated worlds, which is pretty mind-blowing. Elon Musk and Neil deGrasse Tyson talked about how amazing it is that AI can learn and work in different simulated worlds. This ability to move between simulations and the real world is opening up exciting new possibilities for developing even smarter AI technologies. Powerful new AI tools like Grok and Gemma have made it possible to create more realistic and useful simulations than ever before. This includes simulating complex things like weather patterns and robots, thanks to work by companies like NVIDIA. Basically, it's a whole new way of using AI simulations. New research shows how computers can be used to study the brain and how men's and women's brains might be different. This is a big leap forward in our understanding of how computers can affect the brain and how it's organized. The implications of AI's ability to predict cognitive tasks based on brain organization between genders are unprecedented and raise fascinating questions about the fundamental nature of human cognition and behavior, said a researcher at Stanford Medicine. As freely available AI models like the powerful Gemma technology keep getting better, it shows a bright future for computer simulations that act like real things. The fact that these models are shared openly allows for collaboration among researchers, which could lead to major breakthroughs in simulating things and understanding how minds work. In other news, recently Elon Musk sued the organization he co-founded, called OpenAI, and its leader. He claimed they strayed from their original goal of developing AI for everyone's benefit, and instead focused on making money by working closely with Microsoft. Musk, who is also CEO of Tesla Inc., has been very vocal about the dangers of super smart AI, also called AGI. This is where computers become as intelligent as humans. When OpenAI released a program called ChatGPT, it showed how far AI has come, but also made people worry about the risks of rushing to build super smart AI. To this day, OpenAI Inc.'s website continues to profess that its charter is to ensure that AGI benefits all of humanity, the lawsuit said. In reality, however, OpenAI Inc. has been transformed into a closed-source de facto subsidiary of the largest technology company in the world, Microsoft. This fight is getting worse and could affect both companies. OpenAI is trying to raise a lot of money, but this fight might make it harder. Microsoft has given OpenAI a lot of money to help them develop AI, and this battle might also hurt Microsoft. Microsoft is doing well right now and wants to be a leader in AI, but this fight could make that harder too. For the unversed, Musk funded OpenAI in 2019. He is now suing them because he believes they broke their agreement, did not act in their best interests, and acted unfairly in their business practices. Elon Musk wants OpenAI to make all its research and inventions public, free for everyone to use. He wants Altman to give back any money he made from things he did wrong at OpenAI. He also wants an unspecified amount of money as compensation, but if he wins, he will donate it to charity. In recent times, a large language model GPT-4 has been used in chatbots like ChatGPT. This has caused many businesses to start using AI. Microsoft has been especially keen on using this technology in its cloud services and other business products. Musk believes GPT-4 is already a kind of superintelligence or AGI. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman thinks true AGI will be here within the next few years. Musk, who is very wealthy, helped start OpenAI in 2015. He left the company two years later because he disagreed with them about how to develop artificial intelligence or AI technology. He is the CEO of Tesla and owns the social media platform Twitter. He's also raising money for a new company called XAI, which has its own chatbot named Grok. 
This chatbot competes with OpenAI's chatbot, ChatGPT, and image generator, DALL-E. Elon Musk got worried about powerful AI being controlled by companies when Google tried to buy DeepMind, a British research lab. To stop Google, Musk teamed up with a friend from his previous company, PayPal, to try and buy DeepMind themselves. They couldn't buy DeepMind, and Google ended up owning it the following year. Musk filed for a lawsuit against OpenAI, claiming that its leaders acted poorly. He said that last year, the CEO was fired and then brought back with help from Microsoft. According to Musk, the company also removed most of the board members who were originally in charge of making sure OpenAI's technology benefited everyone. Altman handpicked a new board that lacks similar technical expertise or any substantial background in AI governance, which the previous board had by design, the lawsuit said. The new board consisted of members with more experience in profit-centric enterprises or politics than in AI ethics and governance. They were also reportedly big fans of Altman. The Securities and Exchange Commission is looking into whether OpenAI lied to its investors last year. Other regulatory agencies are also checking into OpenAI's connection with Microsoft. The concern is whether OpenAI has been honest about making money and if its money-making partnerships are too strong. The lawsuit also wants to investigate Sam Altman more closely. They question whether the board at OpenAI is doing enough to stop him from using the organization for his own financial gain. They point out that in 2019, Altman signed a deal to buy expensive computer parts from a new company he was heavily invested in. Even though Elon Musk likes to argue publicly about many things, suing renowned people isn't something he usually does. Before he bought Twitter, now called X, and started fighting about it in court, he was almost always the one being sued, not the one suing others. One exception was when his company, SpaceX, sued the US government because they gave contracts to other companies. But even then, Musk ended up dropping the lawsuit. In a recent blog post, OpenAI shared emails showing that Elon Musk wanted to use their artificial intelligence research to make money for Tesla. He suggested that OpenAI merge with Tesla or even become a source of income for the car company. OpenAI says this is not what they were founded for, and it aims to develop safe and beneficial AI for everyone, not just one company. OpenAI didn't want one person to be the sole boss, so they disagreed with Elon Musk about making the company for profit. This caused problems between them. OpenAI directly responded to Elon Musk, saying they are disappointed things turned out this way, with someone they used to greatly respect. They acknowledged that Elon inspired them to set ambitious goals and then later questioned their ability to achieve them. Elon then went on to create a competing company called XAI and even sued them when OpenAI started making significant progress without him. This news comes just after a group of big tech companies, including OpenAI and Twitter, promised to develop artificial intelligence safely and avoid causing problems for society. This group signed a letter saying they all share the responsibility to make sure AI is good for everyone. In a blog post titled OpenAI and Elon Musk, the company clarified that it wants to make sure that AGI helps everyone in the world. They're sharing their ideas on how to do this. They originally thought they needed $100 million to reach their goal, but then realized they actually needed much more money, like billions of dollars every year. This is way more than they ever thought they could raise. The company believes that everyone should benefit from the advantages of AI, but they don't necessarily need to share all the scientific details behind it. They're still working hard to improve their tools and make them even more helpful for everyone. If you liked watching our informative video, click on like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.